mind. Well, not fighting the mind is is just uh, not identifying with the mind. But I'm going to try and use some different lang different ways of languaging it. Um, a fight can only exist with thoughts. Uh, a few ways, you know. If if there's um. Okay, let let's go to the. I'll go to the observer first. So if I feel like my mind's fighting with this itself, then who am? What's observing all of it? And is does the observer experience a fight? You know, is is the observer of thoughts in in is that an experience of fighting, or is then, or if you want to call it non-judgmental awareness? When there's not non-judgmental awareness, is there any fight going on? Uh, uh, and then who's judging that there is a fight? Uh, so is that non-judgmental awareness? So if there's no judgments, then there cannot be a fight. Um, also, if if it feels like there's a fight going on, then um, what's observing the fight? And in the place of the observer of the fight, is there any fight in the observing? And if there is, if the observer is in the, experiencing a fight, then what's observing the observer experiencing a fight? And is there any fight existing there? So you can clear it that way. Or, um, you know, the core is the addiction to thoughts. You know, always getting, it's like a TV set that you, you want to get drunk on. What's on TV now? What's the next thought? You know, oh, that's so exciting. Let me think about this thought for a few hundred hours. Because it's, uh, I don't want to be in a state of infinite peace and silence. So this thoughts has got some entertainment value. You know, the only thoughts that hook you out are meaningful thoughts. So when you say, you know, um, not fighting, well, the only fight that can exist is if there's thoughts which are meaningful. So if you just do the course of miracles, that thought that there is a fight is meaningless. Or I cancel my belief that there is a fight going on. I'm an infinite being, subject only to what I hold in mind. Or instead of a fight in my mind, I could see peace, you know, or, um, you know, and who am I that experiences a peace? What's, a, what's witnessing? Does a witnesser of a fight, is that experiencing a fight? So those are ways, or whether, whether you call it non-judgmental awareness. But um, the fight, um, the fight is normal. On a, at a certain level of the spiritual journey, there's a fight. You know, you hear that people are in bliss, in peace, in silence, in stillness. And it's like, you want that, uh, but, and you hope to get it in five seconds and it's not there. And there seems to be an internal fight. You know, why haven't I got it now? Uh, why can't I just do it in one second? Uh, surely this should happen right now. And so all of that brings a kind of internal fight. Something wants to be free and yet one is not free. So that can bring an internal frustration. But again, there's just uh, again there is there is an observer which is not in the fight, um, or the the fight will just disappear. Sometimes you have to use bloody minded cancelling and praying, just keep praying for a miracle to see it differently until it is seen differently. Yeah, there's there's a miracle and a shift in perception, and a shift in consciousness that can occur. One is the course talks about it where the the fight or anything to forgive no longer exists. Uh, um, but there's also the fight, the shift in perception, the miracle, where it's not seen as a fight, and then it's seen as a, too boring of a fight to get interested in, and, and it's disappearing. Or it's seen from a different angle, it's seen in love, that there is no fight. So, um, uh, or pray pray to the Holy Spirit for a miracle that it be revealed to you, which tool or what needs to be cancelled or observed. So, for me, it's uh, if you just ask me directly, I, I just say it's just um, it's the addiction to thoughts um, and uh, and being hooked onto the drama of the passing thoughts and not allowing uh, grace or the infinite to be the orchestrator. You know, the, you, one wants to get back into the ring with thoughts and and get and sort of project that they have the authority to orchestrate life better than uh, than that which is free of the story and the addiction to thoughts. So uh, the Course in Miracles gives you the fundamental thing right at the beginning. All my thoughts are meaningless. There, you see, your, your ego will, will argue with me and say, no, but these special thoughts, I'm, I'm willing to give up the other thoughts, but these special thoughts I'll keep forever. 
Well, that's the problem. You see, that's why you never get there because you have to let go of the special thoughts and you have to let go of the idea that any thought is special. Once you let go of the idea that there are no special thoughts and there is no thought that is special, uh, you, once that's there, then that you're done. So uh, I'll stop there. <laughs>